While on the campaign trail, we sought to speak with every candidate. One said yes. I'm here covering Governor Huckabee's appearance at the Midwest indoor shooting range, or what mass murderers call the gym. There's Governor Huckabee arriving from his bus, surrounded by a horde of camera. What's your favorite part of the campaigning, besides um, the peace and quiet? I, I think it's avoiding reporters. Um, You're doing an excellent job. Yeah, I'm trying. It's mutual. It I'm seems really working today. at it. When's the next debate? Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to be in the undercard again, I guess. Nah, uh, right? we don't know yet. We won't know till probably Please. tomorrow. I think you have a better chance of being on the main stage at Coachella. <laughs> have you seen your poll numbers? What percentage are you right now? Five percent, and that's including the entire Duger family. <laughs> <laughs> I can help you. How can you I help? I can help. Here's what I really do for a living. I, I hurt people's feelings. I'm an insult guy. Yeah, you are. That's the wave of the future. That's what Trump is doing. Okay. Will you let me help you prepare? Seriously. Couldn't Just think do about harm. it. Go for it, Triumph. Go Seriously? For it. Sure. He's never going to do it. Thank you for doing this. You're not going to regret it. I'm pretty sure I will. You can't give up, Mike. That's the important thing. Mike Huckabee supporters don't know the meaning of surrender. No. Because they were educated in the Arkansas public school system. <laughs> that was a good thing for us. It was? Okay, Martha Raditz is going to be one of the moderators. Uh, let's go over some of the questions she's going to ask you. She'll probably start with something like this. <clears throat> uh, Governor uh, Huckabee, if you become president, how quickly would you change the currency to silver dollar pancakes? <laughs> Uh, I think I would do that right away, and uh, there would be a coupon. Not bad, but you need to steer your answers toward hurting someone else. Oh. Insults, that's what people want now. That's what Trump is doing, that's what you need to do. Okay, just, I'm going to help you, okay? okay. This is, now try the first joke about Rick Santorum. Again, let me ask a question first, okay? I'm David Muir now. You've shown remarkable resilience in this campaign. How do you run a campaign over the sound of your employees typing their resumes? <laughs> you see, because they're all waiting for their next job. Oh. Okay, so now you top that with a Santorum singer. <laughs> Not gonna do that one? I think that's a little rough. Let me read it, let me see. Yes, there, you read that one. Which is it? Uh, yes, uh, well, I might be uh, doing badly, David, but what about Rick Santorum? For a guy who hates sodomy, he sure is taking it in the ass this year. No, come on. Try a Fiorina, okay? We're okay. gonna do a Fiorina. All right, let's try that. Governor, how would you suggest the country address the trade imbalance between your wallet and the Dairy Queen cash register? I think the, uh, the Dairy Queen cash register is definitely winning. I need a Fiorina slash. Let me see. It says, just trust me, try the joke, okay? Carly Fiorina is 61 years old. Yes. Or in dog years, she's 61 years old. <laughs> Boom! You That's did it! it. <laughs> you did it, okay. You graduate to the next level. Now you're with the big boys. So, let's start. Uh, what do you think about the Syrian refugee crisis? Uh, I'm talking, of course, about the refugees from Arkansas fleeing to Syria for a better life. I got one. Okay, good. So have you seen the new Ted Cruz alarm clock? It doesn't go tick-tock, tick-tock. It goes flip-flop, flip-flop. Oh, dear God. You've got to be Trump-level mean. Let's talk for a second, okay? Mm. You have to take this debate 100% serious, like you would a pie-eating mm. contest. Oh, I, I do. <laughs> you can't just write this off as silly nonsense, like evolution, or, or books, or <laughs> logical reasoning. Indeed. Okay, so governor, um, if elected, do you personally pay for the overweight man needed to balance out Air Force One? Let me tell you something. Flying on Air Force One means you eat a lot of exotic food. I want you to know I've got food in my colon that's older than Marco Rubio. Very good, very good. Okay, press on. Now Marco will probably say, can I say something right now? And then you just interrupt him. You know, Marco Rubio, you were probably the kid in school who pulled his pants all the way down at the urinal. This is great. This is perfect. 
Okay, all right. Now you're getting it. Okay, you're doing great. I think you're ready for Trump. Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. I'm Trump. Is that your hair or is that another dog jumping up on top of your head? It actually is a dog I stooped. Okay, keep going. You know, a lot of people have said very unflattering things in the media about Mike. I like him, but people just say things. They've said he's a religious zealot or a bigot or a homophobic puffer fish, uh, a Macy's parade balloon of Kevin Spacey. <laughs> All kinds of things, you know. Uh, it's just sad, Mike. It's sad that you're still in the race. Okay, now you hit back. You know, Donald, I'm pretty sure you are going to bring back some jobs because fact-checking you would employ immediately five million people. Everybody's asleep right now, Mike. You know what? I get it. I get it. I'm going to be you, and you're going to be Trump, okay? Okay. Okay, so you're going to be Trump. Okay. Okay, and I'll be you, okay? Put it on, put it on. No. Okay, fine. Just be Trump and okay. I'll be you. Okay, I'm Governor Huckabee here. Hello. Seriously, I don't think I look like that. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand, but this is all the padding we could find. Look, I admire Huckabee. I mean, he's a guy that tries to live like Jesus lived. And just like Jesus, he's got exactly 12 supporters. Okay, you did it. You passed. Good. Now you get to debate for the presidency against the Democrats. Oh, terrific. I'm here, what about me? Are you serious? Yeah. You think you'll actually get the nomination, it's an avowed socialist? I Look. am going to get the nomination. You are simply jealous of me. Are you jealous? You're jealous, I can tell you're jealous. I'm not jealous. You are jealous because Ben and Jerry's named an ice cream after me and not you. Is that why you boycotted Ben and Jerry's for 43.2 seconds yesterday? Answer the question, answer the question. Yeah, I get it, I understand all about ice cream. We had it in Arkansas. But you know something we also understood? That when ice cream is as cold as Hillary Clinton, yeah. then, uh, you know, nobody's buying. How dare you, you sexist weeball. The president of the United States it's hard job, Bernie. You need to be experienced. You need to surround yourself with experienced advisors. That's right. Is there anyone that Mike Huckabee can call upon who knows what it's like having the weight of the world on their back? Hmm. I mean, other than Mrs. Huckabee. Ba -dum -boom. Uh, uh. <laughs> too nice. Much? Too much? Probably too much. Too Probably much. too much. Too much, everybody. Yes. We're not going to use that joke. <laughs> That joke will not appear on Funny or Die. Too much. I assure you that this will not be on television. I'm pretty sure you're lying to me. Yeah.